Hey guys, all right, let's do a quick workout for those moms that are at home and they either are currently pregnant or have just recently had a baby or just haven't done a lot of core work to really stabil um, stabilize the core, both the front, the back, and the sides. So, my name is Katie. Again, this is uh, Katie with Strength in Moms. And our workout today is going to be a shortened workout working on core in a fully modified positions to protect the back and any um, any weaknesses that we may have in those uh, in those for those exercises. All right. So with that being said, let's warm it up. We're gonna march it out. We're gonna do a quick workout. It's not very long, but something you could possibly do every day, and then you can start to incorporate incorporate some of the other exercises. Take your feet out wide that we get into that might be a little more advanced than what you're currently doing. So everything's a building block. And like I said yesterday in my first video, just keep moving. It's the most important thing. All right, from here, let's take it to side steps. Warming up our hips, getting our blood flowing. And then we're gonna use some body weight exercises today to get some strength in us. And pull your hamstrings back. Good job. And then finally, let's pull your knees forward. And while you're here at a high knee raise, let's roll our shoulders back. And let's roll them forward. You can start to lower those knees down and just keep it at a march. Okay. So let's get going. Feet are gonna be wide, comfortable distance apart. The most important thing to keep in mind, if you've just had a baby, or you've had any trauma to your abdomen, a C-section, or you still have some weaknesses in there, is right now to keep both feet on the floor. So I, wouldn't, I don't want you to start adding in a bunch of single leg movements that you're gonna be having to stand on one hip or one leg and opening out your hips. So what I want you to think about is feet are shoulder distance apart. You're gonna sit back in your squat and take it back and back up. So in our squat, we're pretending like we're sitting back on a chair. Our feet, our he weight is in our heels. We're protecting our knees and we're breathing. So in another video, I talk about belly breathing. And what I want you to think about is in this position of the squat or this exercise, I want you to incorporate your belly breathing. So you're gonna inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Incorporating your core, your pelvic floor, and all of them are gonna be engaged in supporting you. So inhale and exhale. Good, let's do 10 more. And up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Now, feet are gonna be opened out wide. Now we're gonna incorporate our glutes on this one. So we just did our quads and our hamstrings with the squats. My feet are gonna be turned out in a plie position and my heels are gonna be further apart than my hips are. I'm gonna drive my whole body down with my knees going out. So taking it out wide and back up. On the way back up, we're engaging our glutes on the back side as our movement comes up. So take it down and up. Awesome. This is engaging your inner thighs and your glutes are the driving force on the way back up. If you have your feet in too, wide, too close, I don't want your knees going out past your heels. So open up your, your squat position, and that way your knees are gonna go as far out as your heels are. And your knees are going out. If you find yourself collapsing forward, then we need to strengthen our glutes 
and you can take your feet in a little closer and don't widen them out so much. So that's your modification. Let's do five more. Five, up, four, up, three, up, two, last one. Great job. All right, we're taking it down to the mat. Okay, so a couple of exercises here on the mat. The first thing we're gonna do are a seated heel tap. So there's a progression to this. What I want you to think about is supporting yourself back here with your hands. So, so you can see my legs, I'm gonna back to the edge of my camera. From here, if I were to just have socks on, which I can do pretty quickly, I can do a single leg heel slide. So I'm gonna lean back, I'm gonna extend my leg out and back in and alternate. And my feet are just sliding on my mat. This is the most modified. Second position is a two-legged heel slide. My feet are still staying in contact with the floor, but I'm just gonna slide out and slide back in. Out and back in. Out and back in. Now, next modified is a single leg heel tap. Out in, out, in, out, in. Least modified in this is a double leg heel tap. Out and in, out and in. Now, you can then make it more difficult. Hold your hands in front or up by your head and you can extend out and in. You can balance yourself out in a boat pose similar to on yoga or Pilates, or you can hold your hands in front. So that's your progression for your heel taps. Okay, our next exercise is to get to our bird dog. So your hands and feet are gonna be on the ground. The hands and knees are gonna be on the ground. My right arm is gonna extend straight out. My left leg is gonna extend straight out. So I'm gonna hold this. Thinking about my core is engaged, I'm not letting my back arch down, it is supported, and I'm lifting my leg with my glute from the back. Keep breathing, and switch. Left arm, right leg, and hold. And switch, right arm, left leg, and hold. Keep breathing. and switch, and also try and avoid looking out over your hands, and just keep your spine in a neutral position. And switch. Now take it back to your right arm and left leg, and you can add in a little exercise here for our core, especially for those of you who cannot do a regular crunch in a prone position, which is laying on your back or supine position laying on your back. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna take my right elbow and meet my left knee inside, crunching in the middle, and extend it back out. We're gonna do that five times. Here we go. Five and out. Four, out. Three, out. Two, and one more time. And switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Hold for just a second. And now we're gonna do our five crunches. Take it in and out, two, out, three, out, four, and five. Good. And now let's lay on our left side. You can either be up on your elbow or you can be down, relaxed, in a neutral, more neutral position. My knees are, t are stacked and my heels are stacked on top of each other like this as well. And I'm going to do our clamshells. So we're gonna open up our right knee, keeping our foot attached to the other, the down foot and back down. Two, we're gonna do 10, three. So you should feel this on the back side of your glute. 
as the muscle that is doing the primary movement here. Let's do three more. Three, two, and last one. Awesome. Let's switch sides. Same thing. Stacking your knees in front. Feet are stacked behind. Opening up that glute. Knee raises and back down. And down. Good. Up. Down. Feeling this on the back side. Up. Down. Let's do five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And down. Okay. Final move. Back on our hands and knees. I'm going to scoot forward so that you can see my heel, my feet, and my knees. All I'm doing up on the front end is making sure my hands are directly underneath my shoulders. All right. I want you at a 90 degree at your hip and a 90 degree at your knee. We're going to tuck our toes underneath like you're going to push down into downward dog. But all we're going to do is bring our knees up off the floor about an inch to three inches at the most. And incorporating everything in your core, your quads, and your glutes are firing on this one. We're going to bring it up and hold it for 10, 9. And you can see here, there's no space underneath, or there's just a little, little space underneath my knees. 5, 4, 3, 2, and down. We're going to do this two more times. So if you were a little higher than you were comfortable, this time try and bring your knees down a little bit more and challenge yourself. Bring it on up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and down. We've got one more. We're almost there. Here we go. Take it on up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and down. Good. Our last thing is a fully modified push-up. So, I get frustrated when people call these girly push-ups. Our arms are sometimes not as strong, um, or if we've not been doing a lot of tricep work, then our triceps aren't as strong to do a traditional push-up where your arms stay right next to each other, or right next to your body, push down and push back up. So you have a couple of options. You can take your hands out wider, which will engage more chest into the movement. I'm gonna stay on my knees to the modified position so you guys can see how my hips are staying forward and I'm not back over my knees. I don't want your push up here. I want your push up here. So from this position, your hands can be wider. We're gonna go down and up. We're gonna do 10. If you can bring your hands back in on the mat and take your elbows back towards your body, you can do a tricep push up and we're going to do 10. So let's do this together. Here we go. 10 of these and then we're calling it a day. Here we take it down. Down and up. Keep breathing. Two. It's very, very easy in triceps to try and hold your breath. No idea what number that is. And Siri, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, last one. Awesome. Let's sit back, child's pose, and stretch that out. Keep breathing. Feel that release in your shoulders and your lower back. Come on out, and we're going to do some cat cow stretches. So you're going to take your arch back up, tailbone and head, top of the head to the ceiling, arch it back down, again back up one more time, and then back down, good, let's stretch out a little bit of our um, hip flexors by taking a right foot forward and take this into a runner's lunge. So it's stretching the hip flexor of the back leg as well as the glute and hamstring of the forward leg. Make sure that you're not taking this over your ankle 
take your foot out a little further so that when I come into my fully stretched position, my knee stays over my ankle. So this should feel good on your hip flexor and then your glute hamstring of your right leg. And switch sides. Left foot forward. Feel that it. stretch. Hope you guys are doing well today. Let's take it back. Let's take it to a standing position. I'm going to do two stretches here in a standing I'm going to bend at my hips, driving my tailbone back. I'm going to walk my hands down. And if you can reach the ground, great. If you can't, you can support yourself on your shins. But I want you to think about feeling the stretch on the back side of your leg. Lift the hold at this in this position for about five seconds. Roll on up or walk your hands back up. And our last thing are some shoulder rolls back and shoulder rolls forward. And then we are going to take a deep breath and we are done all the way down. And exhale. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day.